Okay, so the final figure I have is this 1 8 scale Selly Borrelleri figure from MiHoYo. Um, so we've got a really nice um, front panel of her with some nice um, decal around the corner, her name and the um, type. It's, uh, I can't pronounce the version that this is, um, but it's to do with her outfit and the skin that she was in for a certain event in the game. Um, so on the side we have some more butterfly decal as that is like her motif. Um, some lovely lily coming up because that as you can see is part of her design for this figure. This box is absolutely massive. Um, I'm presuming it's also just because the base if you can see that is massive as well. Um, so we've got Honkai Impact 3 and we've also got the logo in the top left corner on the back. We've got some lovely snapshots of the figure at different angles and one main picture of her as well. Um, there's also the sticker of authenticity for MiHoYo um, as well as MiHoYo's label and Apex which is the uh, company they work with for these. Some safety information, this is all in Chinese, that's why I can't read it. Uh, but yeah, let's get her open. I have been waiting for her for so long. She's absolutely one of my favorites in the game. Uh, so I have been using Swallowtail uh, and... Oh, I'm just getting breathless thinking, trying to open this now. Um, I've been using her from the first, she's my first SS Valkyrie. Um, if you don't play the game, I highly recommend it. it is, the story is so immersive, you get to love so many of these characters. The, the lore is really interesting. Um, yeah, the quality of this box is amazing as well. Oh, I didn't notice, but there is also a little uh, panel at the top as well. Oh gosh, she's <laughs> this is absolutely massive. I'm just trying to get this open. Um, Come on, Sally. She is definitely hard to get out. There we go. Um, I'm presuming there was some paper at the bottom. Um, actually, behind her in the box, there was also her name there as well with a butterfly motif. That's really pretty. Pull the box to the side for now. The, the cardboard on this box is really high quality. Um, it's also an info leaflet. Um, because you do have to place in the pegs for the flowers as well. Um, some people have struggled with this, so we'll see how I get on. <laughs> um, but let's open this up and see. So the first step, we have all the parts. We place Sally in first, then the flowers, and she'll be assembled. So, okay. Move that off to the side as well. So, okay, oh. oh, yes, of course. So there's also a bonus item with this, which is her acrylic stand, which is very, very cute. Oh, the light's not helping. Let's get this out. Um, this also comes with the stick of authenticity for MiHoYo as well. Um, the sad thing about this figure is I can't, um, I can't put her up on my figure collection because obviously she's Chinese. It's a Chinese brand. Um, oh, that is beautiful. So uh, yeah, this is probably gonna go on my desk as well, to be honest. Um, so let's pop this open first before I start with the main event. Uh, try around, does this go probably either way? Yep, so it's very nice standing uh, acrylic stand. Right, so now to this. Um, so I've got some tape I need to, if I pull this down again, I've got some tape I need to undo on here. It's finding all the bits out, so there's a bit there. There's a bit here. Um, there's some more in this corner as well. So it is like really durable plastic, like I can't, I can't like, describe the quality that's clearly gone into this. Oh God, I'm gonna end up crying. Oh, I've got this base. Wow. 
Like I, there have been a couple of scale figures where like the Senjo Gahara figure has had really nice um, detail on the base. Gosh, I can't get this open. Um, but this is breathtaking. Like the detail for this water, it's gorgeous. Like it's quite flat plastic, very smooth with some detail for the white coming in. Um, we've got some metal pegs, which is really nice, good quality sign. Um, there's a lovely feel to this as well, where the lily pad, the lilies will go into. Um, very impressive base. It's quite big as well. Like definitely bigger than my hand. So we'll put that to the side. Um, so I needed to do Sally first. So let's pull her up. Oh crikey. Oh my gosh. You are beautiful. Right, so we've got lots of plastic here. There's lots of bits coming off. I'm terrified of actually breaking her. Um, pull this out. The detail. Oh my gosh. She looks absolutely stunning. I love her hairband. Her hair's flowing outwards. You can see her little earrings. Her face looks gorgeous. Her dress. They've even got these like little paint parts in there. Um, the flower and the, the delicate touch that she has on this little ribbon. Oh, she looks absolutely stunning. I can't describe it. The camera probably is not doing her justice. Let's just put it like that. So um, if I try and wiggle this over here a little bit, um, we'll pop her down on, oh gosh to do this is scary come on girl there we go right. oh God, I am so glad I got this figure like she kept disappearing off um, Ami Ami's store so it's like ah oh, trying to really kind of grab a moment where she was up for grabs um, so much plastic everywhere. Like, Mi Hoyo have done so much effort into making good quality here. Like it's honestly very surprising. Okay, there's a couple of layers to this. Um, so I'm gonna come off for a second and get this undone. Have her all assembled. Let's take a closer look. And um, my God, she is stunning. The lilies look amazing. There was some difficulty getting her in with this flower and this peg here because of her dress. But other than that, really quite simple. These were protected by an extra layer of plastic, which is really good of them. Um, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm struggling to have words for this figure. She is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this series. I fell into love with it like two months ago, if that, and I've already ordered this figure um, and three or four others I just the quality like look at her glove they've done like a transparent thing here where it's kind of shaded white but is soft colored compared to her skin on her chest and face um, I, I'm just running out of words to say she's also got this lovely purple there's no paint bleeding from what I can see despite the complexity of this. Um, the details with her shoes and her toes, she's even got little nail polish on her toes. There's some lovely little flowers on her shoes. There's a buckle detail. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. If you have the opportunity to buy this figure and it's something you'd be interested in, go for it. She is gorgeous. I, <laughs> I honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it other than the size and weight of it, um, but 100% worth it. So let's get some nice shots of her and thanks for watching.